she tried it. This is the Summer Breeze Cop Top 2.0 by Designs by Key. As usual, there will be timestamps for each section of the video. I will also have a link to everything mentioned in this video in the description box below. Let's get started. As a crocheter, sweater and cardigan patterns are a dime a dozen. Now I love a good sweater pattern, but realistically, I have to contain myself when purchasing those patterns. Despite our recent ice storm, I live in hot and humid Houston, Texas. Clearly our weather is changing, but we are guaranteed steamy summers down here every single year. As someone who likes to wear their crochet and knit pieces, I'm always up for a good summer knitwear pattern. I spend lots of time searching for summer patterns. I feel that y'all are pretty familiar with my style by now, so if you see any summer pieces I should make please be sure to send them my way. Designs by Key or Key Allen is no joke in the crochet world. She has been featured in issue 55, 63, 64, and 65 of Crochet Now magazine. She is a natural just like myself, she is left-handed just like myself, and has a ton of patterns. Actually, a lot of them are free, but we'll get into that later. One last thing to mention about Ki is that she is black. Ki also sells the cutest t-shirts and sweatshirts. The t-shirts say Yarn Bay and come in a variety of colors, and the sweatshirts say Yarn Babe and also come in a few colors and tons of sizes. I'll be sure to link her merch on her website in the description box below. Key's Instagram feed is very bright and colorful. Her captions are either transparent or hilarious, and a lot of times she manages to do both. I am a huge fan of her content. Like I said, Key has a ton of patterns, and it was really hard deciding which one to make. But the thought of a Houston summer being right around the corner made this Summer Breeze Crop Top 2.0 an easy choice. So this pattern. First off, it's clearly gorgeous. It's also the perfect pattern for any beginner. It's free in her blog, and as if that isn't enough, there's a YouTube tutorial for exactly how to make this top. I have huge respect for anyone that takes the time to make an informational, well-lit tutorial for how to make crochet pieces, mainly because I'm not willing to do it. But this isn't like a lot of tutorials. I gravitate toward written patterns because I want to be able to make it in my size and I want to be given gauge. Typically, not always, but typically, a lot of YouTube tutorials just show you how they made the top to fit their body. And they just start chaining stuff and you have no clue where they're starting the piece until halfway through the video. But I get it. If you take the time to make a video, why not let the viewer figure out how to customize it? Thankfully, Key is not only a great designer, but also a great teacher. She clearly poured her heart and soul into this pattern and tutorial. She has a free written pattern and a YouTube video that explains each section you're working on and what amount of stitches you need for your size. Another great thing about her written pattern is that she color coordinates the sizing in her pattern. So if you're crocheting a size small, your stitch count is blue all throughout the pattern. I've mentioned before that I think this little detail is perfect for any beginner. It's also worth noting that I made the Summer Breeze Crop Top 2.0. That 2.0 is very important. The original version doesn't have a YouTube tutorial, and I believe it uses a worsted weight cotton yarn. The 2.0 version uses a DK weight cotton blend yarn. To avoid any confusion, I'll link below the exact pattern that I used. In terms of modification, there really weren't many. Even though my yarn is classified as a DK weight yarn, I really struggled with getting engaged. When I did the instructed stitches and rows in my gauge swatch, I was only three inches rather than four inches. I could have gone up a hook size, but I didn't want it to look too gappy, and I also could have used a different yarn, but I didn't want to do that either. So my solution was, based on my bust size, I should have followed the sizing for the large had I gotten gauge. But since my gauge was a bit smaller, I followed the sizing for the extra large and just hope for the best. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but it worked out for me this time and I'm very, very happy with the results. I really appreciated Key's attention to detail as a designer. This pattern has a simple two panel construction, but Key has you reinforce the sleeves and the neckline with single crochets. I didn't get why she did it at first, but it really does make for a neater finish. Be sure not to skip that final step. 
All in all, this is an amazing pattern that is perfect for warm weather. When it comes to summer pieces, I automatically think about drape. And when it comes to drape, I automatically think about Lion Brand True Boo. Some of you may remember this yarn is not new to me at all. I used it last year to make the Everyday Maxi dress by OTH Crochet Nook. I'll leave a link below to that video I did for that maxi. I was instantly hooked to True Boo after that make. I even posted on my Instagram about the amazing drink this yarn had. However, as much as I loved and still do love that piece, I got some constructive criticism in my Family Rates My Makes of 2020 video. Some of the younger critics suggested that I use a bright color, and honestly, I had to agree. The reason I used that color in the first place was because it was the only color available at my local Michaels store. But I finally found a Michaels with a much better yarn selection. They literally had every single color of True Boo. I'm not a pink person at all, but I also know that pink and melanin are a match made in heaven. So I decided to go with this hot pink color. Of course, the yarn I use will be linked below. For those not familiar with True Boo, I believe this yarn was introduced last year, so it's fairly new to the Lion brand family. It's made of 100% rayon from bamboo, and the care instructions say this yarn can be machine washed, but should lay flat to dry. It comes with 241 yards for every 100 grams skein. I do have most of my third skein left from this make. I know I'll be using True Boo again in the future, but I will likely test out another color. With that said, if anyone is interested in trying out this yarn, I will have it for sale in my Mercari shop linked below. As always, I'm not trying to make a profit at all on this yarn. And if you live in a hot climate, this is definitely a yarn you should try. Well, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to check the description box for all the things I mentioned in this video. Let me know if you have completed a pattern by key, and if so, which one? Also, let me know if you've used Trubu before and how you liked it. See you in my next video. Bye.